Hello, Rob from Fencing Pen Journey with a review of the Moon Man. Now this is the Moon Man M2 fountain pen with a food A nib. Right, first off, Moon Man. Their nibs almost always tend to come in fine. Uh, fine steel nibs, which in general I find are fine and dry. I've never actually had a Moon Man nib which has been out of alignment or any actual issues. But I've actually got to the point now where I consider all Moon Man nibs, as soon as I get a Moon Man nib, which is a fine, ink the pen up and immediately take a brass shim to it and start opening up those tines to get more ink flow because I just do not like how Moon Man nibs write. They're dry, they don't feel scratchy, but they're just, just not very pleasant and they're not wet enough, in my opinion. So why am I re-reviewing this? Well, it's not a re-review. This is another Moon Man M2 fountain pen that I got. I have originally reviewed the Moon Man M2. I'll put a link of that review down in the uh, video's description below. So head on down there, expand the uh, description, and the link is in there, of the Moon Man M2 fountain pen with the original fine Moon Man nib. So why am I reviewing this one? Simple reason, this has a food A nib fitted. Now, fitting these nibs is a little bit tricky. I didn't actually fit this nib. This was a second-hand nib. It was one of the, um, uh, there was a guy in the UK selling a bunch of fountain pens, and he said, oh, do you want this as well for a discount price? And it, it, I mean, it was dirt cheap. Um, and I thought, you know what, if it's got a food A nib, I like food A nibs, and it's an eyedropper, this pen, is ideal for use with a food a nib because it holds so much ink it's great so we'll get onto the writing sample in a bit but i'll talk about the uh, the moon man m2 as it is and it's this really nice turned acrylic very good quality it's not some plasticky thing it is proper acrylic it's well polished you can see that there are some We've got a bit of ink in there because this is eye dropped and I have literally just had to uh, uh, wash out a little bit of ink that had found its way into the bottom of the cap there. But we've got these nice turned acrylic finials. I never have any issues with this nib drying out. It's great. You can see the threads there through there. And we've got this Moon Man Red. Point out that the... Uh, cap band is red <clears throat> is it a cap band i'm not entirely sure let me just unscrew it no it's not a cap band that's actually on the uh, the barrel uh we've got this large barrel well not large barrel large ink capacity in the barrel which tapers down to another nice turned acrylic finial so it's all one piece turned acrylic perfect eyedropper i mean it's absolutely great it holds a lot of ink several milliliters of ink um you just unscrew the uh, the section rub some silicone grease on the threads of the section fill the barrel with ink screw it back together and you've got an eyedropper and it is brilliant it is designed to be used as an eyedropper my original review of the moon man m2 covered that and it took me months to get through the ink mainly because i don't like the moon man nib the fine nib it's just it's just not the most pleasurable to use and because it was a fine and dry it took forever to get through the ink so i i always write my pens dry I don't tend to go oh i'm bored of this i'm going to get rid of it. dump the ink and carry on so I, I wrote with that pen for many, many months and eventually it ran out and I thought, well, okay, let's try this Food A nib and it's a world apart. So let's unscrew the uh, the cap. Let's try it. I'll, I'll count this off camera, the turns it takes to unscrew the cap. Less than one turn. Is that? Hang on, let me just double check one turn yeah it's about one turn which is absolutely great nothing fancy in there it is just your turned cap there is some condensation in there 
I hope this isn't going to start burping ink everywhere. It's fairly cool in here, it's 15 degrees, my hands are quite cold so this shouldn't be burping ink. Um, and we have this, mm, well, let me just check, see if I can see, there we go, there's the nib, and it is, as you can see, down at the bottom, a Jin Hao nib. So it's a Jin Hao Food A nib fitted to this fountain pen black plastic feed and you can see the food a upturned nib there section smooth acrylic transparent which is nice so you get to see the ink and things black plastic feed um, colorless feed would have been very nice uh, but it's a nice size it's something to be mindful of. It is, in my view, a little bit slippery and there is a step up here which is, it's not awful, it's out of the way but if you hold the pen further up you might feel that. It's not sharp. So, and there we have the size of the pen in the hand which is really, really nice. And This tapering at the end of the barrel makes it really quite comfortable. It sort of, you, you can vaguely post it but it's not deep and it, it comes off easily so it's not a pen to post but the most important thing is of course this nib so you want to see how this writes and i have got quite a nice ink in here and whether it works on this rhodia paper or not has yet to be seen but i, I tend to use rhodia for other purposes other than journaling Moonman M2 with a food A nib. Oh, hang go completely the wrong angle there. There we go. Look at that huge, huge amount of wetness. Now, why do I like these food A nibs? Well, when I do the writing sample, you'll see. My normal writing angle. which I know isn't the best with the camera in the way. My normal writing angle makes this broad and it is really, really smooth. Incredibly smooth. This Jin Hao Food A nib is so well matched to this fountain pen. I actually wish that Moon Man would start saying to Jin Hao, you know what, can we just buy your nibs and fit them to our pens instead of using our Moon Man nibs because they they are just, <laughs> it sounds strange, but I actually really now prefer Jin Hao nibs over Moon Man nibs. If you asked me a year ago, two years ago even, I'd have said no, Moon Man over Jin Hao nibs, but not anymore. I, I really like how this uh, Jin Hao Food A nib writes much much better than any of the Moon Man nibs. Now when I say it's upturned it is smooth so what you get is and I'll try and do this you get an ever increasingly broad line the further down the angle is so if you hold it up here you get these extra extra fine lines all the way through to, hang on, let's try and get this. I mean, it is triple broad, maybe. Hugely different. All from one nib with no pressure, so it's not flexing. This is just purely based on the angle that you hold the nib on the paper with. So I shall show you, try and show you this way. So upright, and when you start to get to this point, it becomes, you know, quite a comfortable writing position and very, very smooth. So you've got all this line variation in one nib, and reverse writing is possible, and it's, in my view, extra, extra fine, but a bit on the dry and inconsistent side 
but when you've got the ability to write like that you know why why bother reversing this uh, this food a nib so really really impressed uh let's just talk about this ink now this is a diamine ink and i'll just double check because there are some very very similar <laughs> in fact way too similar uh, diamine inks um oh, i've completely lost my ink notes now diamine christine I mean, Fude nibs are designed for writing uh, Japanese, Chinese characters. So it's like a brush. You can use all sorts of different line widths. Now, Diamond Christine is a blue, dark blue sort of tealy ink with a red sheen. Now, we can see that sheen, even on this Rhodia paper, which is usually spectacularly bad for displaying sheening inks. But we can see these three lines here how you've got that red sheen the uh, the loop the loop things you know this red sheen where it lays down ink. unfortunately it just doesn't do it justice on oxford notebook paper you get a really really good sheen you just get the right angle of the light and it's like wow that's re really really quite good so diamond christine ink really nice from that point of view and it's is wonderful in this Moonman M2 with the Fude nib. So, what do I say about the Moonman M2? Well, I know I wasn't 100% blown away with it the first time I reviewed it, but that was with the Moonman Fine nib, which it typically comes with. With a Fude nib in there, very, very different story. I really love this, and I've been writing with this pen for months now. Um, if you use a food a nib in a converter pen you'll find that maybe after a shortish writing session you're out of ink you have to refill it whereas this holds so much ink not a problem you can write for long periods very very long periods you're not going to use up the ink at all quickly in this fountain pen so the moonman m2 really really does deserve to be more widely utilized with a food a nib because it is so good and of course if you've got this broad wet nib you can display sheening ink properties really really well with it so as far as the moonman m2 goes it's another review of the same pen but this one definitely gets a big thumbs up from me because it is so much better with the food a nib i really really love it so thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time Bye.